day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun video to show you guys a bit of a, a RAM and CPU comparison difference between Ubuntu 20.10, latest edition on the left, and, U and Windows uh, 10 on the right, latest edition of Windows, of course, there as well. Now, these are all booted up from scratch, so there's actually nothing really running in the background there, it just is what it is, but uh, without further ado, let's uh, load it up and have a bit of a look here, and we'll see what we're working with. So we'll open up the, uh, the task manager for Windows 10, and the uh, I guess the task manager as well, in, in, in a way, for Ubuntu 20.10. And we'll see what we're dealing with. So straight off the bat, we can see that the CPU is a uh, pretty much flatlining there. There's no real uh, uptime really for that, or there's uh, just a few spikes here and there. But uh, here's the big thing. This is what happens when it comes to RAM. So we're using almost two gig of RAM just on boot up, which is pretty common for Windows 10, unfortunately. It's got a lot of stuff in the background there. It might even tell us we've got quite a few, uh, few threads or uh, processes running in the background there. Might be hard to see depending on what app we use here. But uh, by contrast, uh, we have uh, about 670 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat for Ubuntu 20. So almost, in fact, uh, actually quite almost exactly on about three, uh, a third of the RAM usage, I should say, uh, as opposed to Windows 10. So this is very interesting, always something to keep, to keep in mind in the event that you want to install uh, an operating system on an older PC or laptop, or you just like it to be more lightweight in general, which a lot of, a lot of people do like. So that's been about it, guys. Just thought I'd quickly show you a bit of a uh, look between, a uh, comparison between Windows 10 on the right here, Ubuntu 20.10 on the left, both their, their latest releases there of each of them there. But um, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see you guys there in the next one.